Hello, in this video, we're going to be getting all of the items from the database using CRM. Okay, let's uh, let's jump into it. Um, first, uh, I already have the server running, and you know everything is going well. And we're leaving off where we start, where we where we ended last time. We're starting where we ended up last time, which was we're getting the uh, individual task. Now, what I want to do is do a get to tasks and have it return with all of them. Right now, we're getting a 405 instead of a 404, which might feel a little bit confusing. But if we head down to our routes, we'll notice that we do have a route with slash tasks here. And so that's, that's why we're getting this 405. Notice that it's a method not allowed. And that's because uh, we are essentially requiring a post for slash tasks instead of also allowing a dot get. So um, as soon as we add the get, we'll stop getting the 405 and we'll get the 200 again. The second thing is uh, I was thinking about uh, where I want to put the, uh, the get all tasks. And I think I want to put it inside of the get one task. Now, the main reason for that is because we are using this uh, struct response task. And I want to make sure that these stay consistent between our get one and then the get all. So that way you know you're getting exactly the same object every single time. So because of that, I want to first rename this file from get one task to just get, get tasks. Now, if I save you, uh, that's fine. Get one task should be exactly the same. If we go to mod here, uh, now, VS Code has automatically updated the uh, the mod get tasks and then the use get tasks here. I just have to save the file, and we we should be good. Okay, let's get back into get tasks and add in our new route. So I want a pub async function get all tasks. Uh, we aren't going to take in a path, uh, but we are going to take in that extension. So we want the extension database, which is type extension database connection. Okay. I don't think we need anything else in right now. Uh, and we're going to be returning a result uh, with a JSON uh, response. Uh, now, not just a response task, a vector of response task. And if we fail for some reason, uh, just a status code. All right, so uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to throw in a to do here. And um, because I forget to do this all the time, I like to just as soon as possible, throw this into the, uh, the route list here. So we're going to do a route slash tasks. I actually like to put this next to so we can see all the tasks together. Uh, this is going to be a get. Uh, and I need to also pull in get all tasks here. Okay, so I want to get to get get all tasks. Uh, I have an I have several extra See, open, close, close that one. I think that's, I think that's good. Maybe get all tasks. Oh, I don't want to call you. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. Okay, so back in get tasks here. So what do we want to do? We want to kind of follow the same pattern here as in um, uh, get all tasks. We're going to do something slightly different. In the case that we get an error, I do want to return an error instead of just crash. So I want to show you while we're getting this, hey, we can uh, we can convert this unwrap into handling the error properly. So we're going to first start with let all tasks equals, I'm going to use tasks. Instead of find by ID, we're just going to do find. Um, instead of dot one, we're going to do a dot all and pass in a reference to the database. 
Okay, great. Then we await like normal. Um, now instead of unwrap, because right now we do have a um, a result, we want to map error. So what this is going to allow us to do is uh, run a function across all the possible errors that we're getting back, and um, or at least route across the error that we could get back, and convert it into an error of our choice. So here we have a database error. Uh, I don't necessarily care what this is right now. I just know that it's it's a problem on my end. So if something is a problem on my end, I know that I want to return a status code. So status code, uh, I want server error. The bad request, what was, uh, for not forbidden, what was a 500? Uh, method not allowed, multiple choices. Request timeout, service unavailable. I don't remember the, the message for uh, a, a 500 error. I certainly don't want an okay. Uh, let's see, get we type out forbidden. Not bad request, I don't think. Um, I need to, okay, let's do a really quick search. If we're not sure which one we want to do, uh, we want a uh, HTTP status code 500. Sorry if you can't read that. I can't make the URL bar a little bit, um, a little bit stronger, but okay. Oh, 500 internal server error. That's what it is. So I want internal server error there. Now that gives me a, uh, another result here, which now I can question mark because that's going to now hit this status code here for part of the result. So then I can semicolon that. And now in tasks, we have a vec of the model. Great, but it's a model. So similar to what we have here, we need to uh, iterate through this vector and convert it into the, um, well, these response tasks. Now, to me, that sounds like what we need is a map. Now, if you're unfamiliar with map, a map is a function that we can call on every single item in the vector and uh, change it around to something. So map it from one thing to another thing. Uh, now we can't just do that directly on vectors, we have to convert this into an iterator. And we have ownership of the entire uh, model here because we're just grabbing it from the database and it just created everything into REST at that point. So we can just do an into iterator and then we can do a map. So here we have a DB task and I want to convert this to a, a response task. Let's fill the structs fields, uh, and let's go ahead and fill all these in. So for ID, this is gonna be a DB task dot ID. For our title, same thing, DB task dot title, priority, now the priority is gonna be an option with the priority, but the priority is also an option there. So we're fine, we just keep that. And finally, a description. This is gonna be a DB task dot description. Now it is possible for us to implement like a from uh, as a, um, a trait on uh, the model or on maybe probably better be on the response task. And then we can just do like an into on it. And it would it would technically work. Um, that's a little bit outside the scope of what we're gonna be working with today. Uh, okay, so we map that. We need to collect this back into a vector. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hit semicolon. It's gonna be yelling at me that, hey, we need type annotations because it has no idea uh, what we're trying to do. Are we trying to create a string or are we trying to create a vector of response task? Well, what are we trying to do? but it's okay because we already defined what the type is up here um, in the response, this JSON vec. 
So I'm just going to tell it now. I want to return an OK, a JSON, and a TAS. And as soon as I do that, it realizes, oh, that's what I want to become. It now, uh, REST Analyzer now understands that. The compiler is now fine with this, and it's going to return with all these items. Let's head back up to here. Hit send now, and here we have all of our tasks uh, displayed out for us. So that is how we can now get all tasks uh, in, in our route. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was helpful, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.